Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So, just a quick video to show you how you can disable visual effects to speed up your Windows 11 operating system. And disabling visual effects, to some extent or the other, can improve performance and make your system feel a lot snappier. Especially if you are running a low budget or low end machine. I don't think changing these settings will have too much benefit on a, an, on a high powered system. But um, if you are kind of at the bottom of the hardware range, I think you may find this beneficial. Now, first of all, um, the visual effects I'm talking about are a transparent taskbar, transparent start menu, search, and so on. And also, you'll see if I open the start and search, it kind of slides out and fades in and out. Those are the visual effects I'm talking about. Now, the first thing we have to do um, to disable visual effects is to head over to our settings so you can just head to your start click on settings in windows 11 head over to accessibility and here you'll see visual effects and these are the two settings i'm talking about the main one is actually animation effects which as mentioned give that animation when you're open and closing a menu and then the transparency effects make some Windows backgrounds slightly transparent. So if you want the, 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 the kind of best improvement, then I would toggle both of these off. And you can see now that things are looking a little not as transparent as they were previously. And we can see now when I open and close that start menu as an example, or the search, it's a lot quicker and a lot snappier compared to with the animation effects enabled. And... As a default, I always have this turned off animation effects on both my Windows 10 and also my Windows 11 device. So those are the first two settings um, we can disable to make your system feel a little bit snappier. Now, something else you can do is we can head to our legacy control panel and open up the advanced system settings dialog and menu to go a step further. And to do this, I would just suggest just doing a search for advanced system settings. And here we go. This is the legacy control panel system properties. And as many of you may well know by now, what we do is we click on the settings toggle under performance. And yeah, you can, what you can do is you can toggle off anything else here that you don't want to be enabled. And this will even make your system feel a little bit more snappier. You have other options at the top here. Let Windows choose what's best for your computer. Adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance. But what I would do is I would leave that custom and always have used drop down shadows for icon labels on the desktop because if you don't have that, the icons on your desktop can look a little bit weird and strange. So that's what I would do. But nonetheless, with most of these or all of these turned off, you will find that your system is a lot snappier when it comes to navigating through the actual operating system. So you just click on apply. Okay. Okay. And there we go. And you can see things just feel a little bit more snappier when opening those different menus and dialogues and so on. And just take note though, that obviously when you are disabling a lot of the visual effects, um, your operating system may lose a little bit of its so-called modern look and feel but obviously as mentioned at the start of this video if you are running a low budget machine and are trying to get every bit of performance out of that device then obviously turning off a lot of these visual effects um, disables a lot of extra processes needed to enable those visual effects running in the background which as mentioned um, can improve your performance to some extent or the other on Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.